All right, coming up next, the baddest man on the planet, the UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. So here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Both fighters identical in age, with big differences in height and reach. Now to get us started, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five round for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Nagoya, Japan, presenting the challenger, Bone Crusher. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds, fighting out of Hong Kong. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC heavyweight champion of the world, Lee. All right, this is from the UFC Championship. You know, if you're doing my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. You know, nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, about your corners, come out for you. So here we are from the world's most famous arena. It is, of course, Madison Square Garden. This is where the Thug Rose scene went down, DC. This is where it happened, JD. Lost for words, so I yelled the same thing over and over again. Pick Rose, not my unit. And you can hear me yell, Thug Rose, Thug Rose, Thug Rose. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the top. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. There's no give on that leg kick. Oh, big punch land. Nice one, two there. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick.
misses again with a right punch. That's a big strike right there. And they separate. Trying to establish that jab once again. Hook to the body here, but strong defense to block the shot by Lee. Oh, beautiful counter with the punch there, and certainly making good use of what is an obvious edge in rush. Right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. And they separate. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. A oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. for that knee. He is all about that left kick to the body. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Body kick now by Lee. Switching stances here. Got the single collar tie. And they set it. Very tricky. He's got the he lands and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got to hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Big call punch land. Now he gets back to range. Gonna leave a mark. And again, when you're using this length as effectively as he is here tonight, we might get a finish here in the not too distant future. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Right hand punch to the clinch. Nice head kick. A swing and a miss by Lee. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Massive head kick. He's mixing up his target. He's throwing kicks, he's throwing punches. They're going at it now. Oh, nice right hand. Oh, straight right. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Single collar tie now. And they separate. All right, here, final seconds of round one. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. The horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, no telestrator for the champ tonight, but that's okay. He'll still talk you through the replays. Body kicks for days, man. I mean, body kicks for days, but I got to be honest, John. If we don't incorporate a telestrator <laughs> into this game, this may be my only version of EA UFC. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, Superman punch is good. You can tell he's been working on that. Nice leg kick. 
just out of range with that left hook. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Nice. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Obvious redness on the right side of his body. Big kick lands. Telegraph that spinning back fist. Liver kick. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Oh, that's a nice strike. Oh, collar tie. Left hand punch with the clinch. He just landed a nice left hook there, I, I feel. That's a cable of inches right there, Damn. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Misses with the right hand. Break him down with a low kick. Whoa. Strong defense there to block the shot. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. He loaded up there in that high kick. Good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. And they clinch once again. Great punch landing with so much power. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. That right hand hurt him a little bit. A oh, combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. So accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Nice punch by Lee. Nice body shot. Now he goes with the combination of punches to the head, potentially some concussive damage there. I mean, absolutely concussive damage. Landing all those strikes to the head, he's very accurate, he's very fast, and he has a real confidence every time he throws his punches. Came of inches right there, boy, wow. It was a good night if that landed. Gets caught with that punch. Just missed on the overhand. Look at him yank the head and land that beautiful punch in the clinch. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Lee. Take him down. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. While the body was wide open, his opponent took advantage. Kick to the body, lands flush. He's going to have to make some adjustments here moving forward. <laughs> Throwing that jab now again. The fighter evades. Oh, single collar tie here. Big punch lands. Ooh. 15 seconds. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Beautifully placed there by Lee. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Goes back to that left kick once again. A oh, little single collar tie there. And that's the end of round number two. All right, let's get you some highlights from that previous round, DC. I don't care how strong your core is. You can't take too many more of those body kicks. John, you can't train for that. I mean, you cannot train to take those types of body kicks. They start to really wear at your gas tank, and then you start to make mistakes. When you take that many body kicks, you start making mistakes, and before you know it, the fight's over.
All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Well, just as he did the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too. Huge shot by the target there. Great shot, man. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and hit the fight. Flush knee to the body. He's got the length advantage in this fight and certainly made it count in that exchange. Oh, man, hit to win. Try to establish that jab. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Lee's got the tie clinch now. Body kick is blocked. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Big elbow there, Lance. That he heard him in the last round. Same exact one. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, an educated jab there. I can watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, you're going to shut your body off. Beautiful punch. Just misses with the jab there. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, spinning back fist. Punch coming, it's blocked. Oh, yes, it is a lost art in mixed martial arts. Not just the jab, but the double jab. I mean, a beautiful double jab. That thing's throwing right from the chin, too. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds. And it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this fight as he gets the tie clinch. This is a massive moment for this fighter. He is a great Muay Thai fighter. Look for him to go knee-knee and then try to land a big one to the head. Lee gets caught with that punch. Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. How about that shin? Real quick leg kick. Lee going for the body. Miss with that kick. Nice straight punch. And they set. Big oh. knee lands there. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He lands a massive hook to put his opponent on wobbly legs. Slips the punch. Oh, just nice high kick. Oh, big left. Miss with that jab attempt. Nice punch land over the top. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Going to the body there with the right kick. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. Big body kick. Swing and a miss by Lee. Liver kick. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. That one snuck in. Nice strike. All right, single collar tie now. And both guys really throwing with a four. What a 
So let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action. But the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and in survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute of the fight? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to be harder. This is the hardest round in fighting. This is going to really test your will and your desire to become champion. There's the kick, it's blocked. Well, just as he did the previous round, Continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. He's got to be careful giving his head he's throwing that jab. Head kick blocked. Left hand punch from the clinch. Kick to the body now, that one won't land. How's his opponent still standing? I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. It might not be over now, but it's got to be over very soon. Good series of strikes by him. Great job mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Watching this guy move on the ground, another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Hey, scramble, get up. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Well, a case of pick your poison here, if you drop the elbow defensively to lessen the body damage, you open yourself up up the stairs. He is in some serious trouble now. Ooh, what a punch. Just over two minutes now to go. Oh, big right hook, but a whiff. Oh, vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You gotta start checking these, He's man. Got to check these kicks, or you're gonna be limping around the octagon very short. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Check it, check it, check it. Great punch. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Oh, blocks that kick to the body. Nicely done. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Look at him drive his shin into the opponent's body with that body kick. Well, you can feel that breeze octagon side after the swing and a miss by Lee. Beautiful straight counter. Now to go on the round. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Big punch lands through the middle. That knee might have landed there. Another nice knee there. 
Well, we know knees to be some of the most destructive strikes in MMA, and he's got that part of his game going tonight. He has got the knees going. He's throwing them in bunches. Real sneaky body kick. Right on the button. Lands. Final seconds of round four. And there's the buzzer indicating the end of round four. All right, so a high level round there for him. We'll show you some of the action here, and you got to think the knockdown is going to be featured prominently here. Thought he might have had him out of there. He thought he had him, but the guy's tough. The guy's durable. He has a fantastic chin. But he just needs to stay the course. He does not need to be discouraged. Think about this. You're winning, and you're winning going away. That was just a moment. Keep going in the same direction, and you will get the finish that you want so bad. You got one more round for me? Give me a good five minutes here. You got this one, man. Just keep throwing those jabs. Last round, guys. You ready? You ready? Let's go. It is the fifth and final round. All right, lands a kick there, pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Back to his feet. Just out of range with that left hook. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about the jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after him, he may be able to finish his fight. I mean, he's cold. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. Now look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Back mount now. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground. That's very important. Gets up again here, but hurt. Nice strike. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab the head or he's going to get blasted. Oh, and now he gives up his back. So if the hooks get in, this could be the end. This could be the end because there are too many options for such a phenomenal grappler to be on your back in full back control. He can flatten you out. He can chase submissions. You are in imminent danger. You have to stay careful and safe but I don't have much good advice for you. Under three minutes now to go in this one. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Don't finish this fight. Good punch. Nice head kick. Well, one got through, that kick was blocked. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. All right, well, time is the enemy now, DC, and he's really running out of it if he's gonna get his hand raised tonight. He's gotta go forward. He's gotta just throw everything at his opponent to try and find that punch or that kick that's gonna end the fight. There is no time for strategy anymore. All right, under two minutes now to decide this one. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Nice punch lands over the top. The left punch is true. Now the right hand. Beautiful body kick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Left hand punch to the clinch. 
Back to the left hand now. Unable to connect. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do. Nice kick there by Lou. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Send it inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliana has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, eight seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Lee. Well, DC, you know what it's like to be the UFC heavyweight champion. It's not the easiest belt to defend. Kind of made it look easy to you. I mean, that's why the belt changes and s changes so fast. Things change so quick at heavyweight. But with this gentleman, with this guy, you know that he has all the skills to reign atop a volatile division 